Hey there! Hello and welcome back to Bio Pandit. This is Saurav, your very own Maha Pandit, with you today. And today I am going to talk about Leventhal's paradox. The first protein crystal structure was resolved in 1958, and by 1970, nearly a dozen protein structures were known. In those days, proteins were believed to be rigid molecules. And so almost everyone believed that specific function of a protein is a consequence of its unique 3D structure. Unique 3D structure is associated with a specific surface geometry which determines how the protein would interact with the other ligands. But there was a little problem. Proteins are not synthesized in their fully folded form. They are synthesized as unstructured polypeptide chains. So, in order to function, the proteins must fold. But the question is how exactly does a protein fold? Remember guys that a convincing answer to this question is still not known. But at least we have a pretty good idea about how it does not happen. Imagine a system of two point charges separated by a distance r. The potential energy of the system is given by this expression. Now, if the two charges are opposite, the potential energy is negative, means there is an attractive potential. The two charges tend to be close to each other. If the two charges are similar, the potential energy is positive. This signifies a repulsive potential, means two charges tend to go away. A protein can be viewed as a system of many charged particles, and its potential energy can be simply written as the following. The Rij values represent different conformational states. Generally, you can plot this potential energy as a surface where each point represents the energy of a given conformation. This is called the potential energy landscape. Though a lot more complicated than the simple two charge particle system, the basic concept of potential energy remains the same for proteins. Negative potential or potential energy downhills represent energetically unfavorable conformations, whereas positive potential or potential energy uphills represent energetically unfavorable conformations. Leventhal imagined what we call a golf course model of potential energy landscape. Simply speaking, there are no uphills or no downhills of potential energy for different conformations. All the conformational states are therefore energetically equiprobable. In a golf course potential energy landscape, the free energy of transition between any two states is given by their potential energy difference, which is in this case always zero. If there is no loss or gain of free energy for transition between any two states, a search to find the native structure would be completely random. In a random search, the time to reach the native state is given by the total number of probable conformations divided by the time required to check one conformation. This time can be insanely large. For example, there are as many as 10 to the power 70 probable conformations for a 100 residue long polypeptide chain. Even if the polypeptide chain searches through the individual conformations as fast as 10 to the power minus 11 seconds, it will take 10 to the power 52 years to find the native conformation. How long is this time? Well, not much. It's only several billion times longer than the age of our universe. So, does this mean proteins cannot fold at all? No. Of course, proteins do fold in cellular environment as well as in our experimental test tubes. So, Leventhal paradox leads us to two conclusions. First, a golf course potential energy landscape does not apply to a protein. And second, proteins do not fold by a random search through all probable conformations. It did not take much time to realize that a protein can escape Leventhal's paradox just if the potential energy landscape is like a funnel. In this model, the native structure is energetically the most stable structure. A guided search for native conformation is inherent to the designing principles of biological proteins in a way that non-native contacts are destabilizing in nature. 
whereas native like contacts are stabilizing so the basic thermodynamic principle to obtain a stable structure continuously drives the polypeptide chain to adapt the native structure